Hey traders, Nick here doing some homework after hours and then I thought it would be fun to do a little video showing what we do during the day. So the the membership is for sharing trade ideas for smaller, not smaller, slower traders like myself. I don't like to be active intraday, but if I if I see the action, I take advantage of it. Not everybody can be available to trade during the day. So other than the write-ups that I send out that are not time sensitive we do a lot of fun stuff in the chat room and then even funner stuff in the actual live room i'm going to share something today that happened several setups that happened in the live room which people are looking at my charts like they would be looking at what you're looking at now my screens i would have about a dozen charts in four or five different screens and we would be looking for opportunities this is the live room but i also shared the setups into the chat rooms where people are not stuck to their computers but they can pop in and see setups and i'm going to share several ones on the smp uh, positive on tesla positive and on the smp back writing it down negative so the point of this video is to prove that charts do work and they work on fast setups like these but these same concepts work on higher time frames so if somebody is dead set against learning charts or using charts or using information that was based on charts that somebody is actively forcing themselves to be missing a tool that's available so if you don't know how to do charts that's why I do my Sunday sessions and I did 150 for you guys this weekend uh, 147 I think 148 152 I think last week 154 so every week we do the homework live webinar or recorded and you can have it you do have it in video and in table format so chart homework is important and here is the proof and this happened intraday but the same concept again happens on any time frame so this is the SMP pretty crazy stuff rally debacle somewhere in the middle lies the truth but what are all the signals like what do I do when a chart takes out a prior fail what do I do when a chart uh, fails at a prior support uh, what happens the next time you you revisit like do you think this is a coincidence these two here and this one and and where it's at right now exactly where look at this the green line current price today today is five three five three five four five three five three <laughs> this is today the day is over look at look at this um, april 27th and again here pretty close and again here and this so these are not coincidences machines remember all right let's go in let's jump into the fun stuff all right so this is a snapshot of what I shared into the chat room so if you weren't watching my screens you got this post in the chat room it's a one minute chart so every candle is one minute so I thought okay the SMP had rallied and failed intraday so that was about 7 30 I'm on Pacific time and then it failed I said maybe it's doing this right in two stages it gets back to here and then maybe it does that right so that's first picture shared uh, let me see here May 3rd 743 now 15 minute 20 minutes later look at where it found slightly lower where I thought it would find but we were talking about it and look at where it went so basically it got to here it did this back to this one and now that's phase one target one met right and that uh, let's see how much later 809 four or five minutes later boom so we did this so clearly the charts work this was my ideal target based on what i saw on the left side right so this is one setup okay so let's look at tesla tesla was also very active today now we're at 820 in the morning um, I forgot what happened before that it hit here and stalled so I thought to myself this is where I would say BDBR so buy the dip if it comes or buy the rip if it happens before the dip so whichever comes first because it failed here failed here failed here so clearly this is a point of contention the bulls and the bears are fighting it out if they if they fade into the strong candles I got it up there I would be willing to buy the dip and I said there is support here really in the middle of here this candle was important to me so let's see how it happened i honestly can't remember so so this is 902 what was the time on the other one 820 so 40 minutes later look it fell to that candle 
almost to the penny, above my support, rallied back to the neckline. Only made a little bit of headway. Okay, so um, this was 902. What are we looking at that here? Uh, oh, okay. So, so clearly the rally came back and I think it failed, it, it poked higher, didn't fill that. I forgot to bring the, I'll look for the chart. Let me go look for it right now. It did pop and fail, so I don't have a snapshot, but it did pop and fail. But anyway, somebody that bought the dip made some money on Tesla and several people did that. Um, so it didn't come to fruition, but it popped and failed. And then there were a couple of bearish trades that were set up on that one. All right, so back to the the second run on the S&P, maybe the third run. So they broke out and then they failed at some point. What time was that? 11.13, again, Pacific. So later in the day, um, it fell into this zone. So I drew a box and I said, somewhere in here lies support. And then we have the opportunity for this one to get 4.17.20 out of it. Uh, maybe 417.8. So this is 417.20 and this is 417.8. So, but I said first it needs to hold support. And I said the opportunity would be to buy the dip and write it out today. Let's see what happened. It fell a little deeper inside my box, consolidated inside um, a slightly lower box. So it, it fell to this. <laughs> I drew this in the morning and it never happened. And this is where I stopped in the morning. Look right and see how close they double bounced on it exactly. So clearly we were looking at the right line earlier in the day and right level. So charts paid out again. Um, so I went long in here. I said, I'm going long the S&P. What time was that? 1130 uh, with a couple of hours to go in the day. Uh, and this is what happened afterwards. Okay, so we had a bounce exactly from these two boxes. I can't remember exactly what happened after that. Uh, let's see, this with them. The bounce came to here, failed, and finished the job. Target one, uh, 417, uh, 20 was met right there. 417.80 uh, was met and exceeded right there. And then I said, okay, so the opportunity now is down. So we bought the dip, it delivered this much. And I said here it would be a bearish opportunity with not a lot of time left in the day, 12.14, so we had 45 minutes to go. And I drew the arrow, I said vulnerable. That's the same chart. Um, and here's what happened. Okay, so let's recap. We went long first on a dip. We thought it would do this in two stints. This is one, this is two. We, we played the, the thing with Tesla, buy the dip opportunity. It played out. Not perfectly, but it did play out. And Tesla, when it moves from here to here, it pays a lot in the options. All right, so now the S&P, the fade sometime later in the day, buyable dip. It didn't stop in this box. It stopped a little below it, but it went to that where I had highlighted from before 10 o'clock. So t an hour earlier, I had pointed out this important zone. It fell into the zone, double bounced. That's approaching into the zone, double bounced, right there, zone, double bounced, and then rallied and finished the job in target one and two, target one and two. Um, there they are, target 4720, part one and two. And then identified a bearish pattern. Okay, maybe we can scalp a bear. I didn't do it, but some people did, and there it is. All right, so this was just one day. Total fun, we had, I don't know, 260 people, let me go check. Okay, I brought a picture, uh, 267 people at this point in time. We were chasing that SPY of run-up. Uh, let's see here. I had a few questions. In and out, Jerome, 20%. That's pretty cool. I booked um, booked the SPY calls, that's Mary. Hey, Mary. Um, let's see here. CTRM, again, I missed you, Rodrigo. I'm sorry. Anyway, was this today? I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. Anyway, so a whole bunch of people trying to learn charts and we are learning on the fly with real life examples. Total fun. If you have time in your day and you are part of the group, join us. Um, you don't have to commit. You don't have to say anything. You can sit there right there and just be quiet 
and then just say say thank you at the end of the day <laughs> anyway a lot of fun later bye